finish, 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 finish. Let's go. go While you're getting downrigger set up, talk me through what we're uh, what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start off a little slower this morning, um, and then as the sun comes up, we'll be switching to uh, to my faster boots. So we're gonna start off uh, with some with some shiners, and uh, see see if they want a little slower this morning. If not, then we'll. Uh, We'll switch over to, uh, to our optimizers and our faster spoons and, and give it to them quick. Yeah, I ordered a whole line of optimizers for the shop, so yeah. we'll see oh, yeah. how we do with those today. But uh, this is what we're looking at. All this is a, Big Nate says, all this is a bait, bait uh, right there about 40, 30, 35 feet down. So fish going in and out, feeding. That's what we're looking for. Uh, and that's what we're gonna fish. So Big Nate's using the scent. Uh, it says basically it doesn't matter what kind of scent it is as long as there is scent added to the lure. So that's what... Kind of get rid of the human scent. Ah, I so mean, because... This, you, this is... I just had this one sitting in the garage. It's sturgeon feeds. I use it for sturgeon. I, uh -huh. put, on all, I put on all my sturgeon baits. So... <laughs> clearly, clearly it's not a trout scent. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Just gets rid of our scent. That's a little trick I didn't know about. That's it. That's great. So you see guys, you gotta come out with the best guides out there and get your get your little tips and tricks. How else are you gonna get them? So what do you have as far as depth? The further we are, uh, we are 40 and 38. 40, uh, 38. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna keep them all right in the middle. Right in the middle of that bait. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we got it, we got a bite. Oh, we got a bite. Go. We're on. We got a bite. Here you go. That's very quick. Oh. I think it came off. It came okay. off. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. But that was he, quick. He launched. He launched out there. He hit and he just went straight arrow. Right on. Look at that. Early action. So if I see a bite, mind if I just grab no, no. it and, and no, get torqued? Go torque? for it. Go for okay. It. And right now, with, uh, with the warmer water, they, uh, they have fairly soft mouths. All right. So, so don't, don't yank it too much. No. And then you're trying to hold it as still as you can. Just keep a nice, fast pace. So the tiger got bit, huh? Yep, right away. Okay. Man, that was, that was cool. I wasn't ready for that. Wait, isn't it always I like saw, that? I saw what happened. He, he drilled it and he just launched. These fish have been getting, getting uh, acrobatic real early in the morning. Now are the kings... Uh... The, the kings, when they grab it, they're going to bulldog it. <laughs> But are they going to grab the same uh, lures, or you have to have a little I different usually, setups? Usually, they, they like the optimizers, so they like it faster. Where are we going? How fast we're going? Let's see, 2.7? Yeah, I got it. We're, yeah. we're going a little slow right now. i got to turn up my trolling motor here and get us to breathe. All you need is one downrigger bait, Nate. We'll still do the same as good as, good as four. <laughs> see, guys, there's the formula. Put them where the bait is. Put some scent on them. That's it. Fish right in the middle of the bait. You're not going to mark fish in front of you. Alright, we got one on. Same rod. I think I feel him. Same rod, keep hitting. Tiger's hitting. Uh, he's a smaller one. Unless he's just a... Oh no, he, he's fighting now. He's falling asleep. Oh yeah, there, there she is. is. Yeah. We're off. Look at that, man. We're off the schneid. Not, We're off the schneid finally. <laughs> Not five minutes. Well, maybe seven minutes into fishing. Gosh. At this rate, I'll be work on time. <laughs> <laughs> Just fine. Oh my god. This is a good looking fish. A little smaller size. Definitely healthy yeah, looking. Eagle Lake. That's a DLT. 
nice sharp point on the nose, nice square tail. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a good one right here. Oh, that's a good fish. Man, this rod is awesome. Oh, oh this rod feels good. Oh! The, the, re the reapers are sweet. Oh, this rod is fantastic. We can't even get gear in the water. No, no. The oh, just came off. Right. Sheesh, man. Right? Mm. What did I do wrong? I, didn't, I wasn't watching, so I can't tell you. But we're all I was just reeling. Yep. I wasn't lifting. Should I have lifted? No, no, no you're good. Do you want to lift at all or no? Nope. So just keep reeling. Basically, that's the technique. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm paying freaking seagull. Just ran hit the spoon. He <laughs> tried to get it. He, said he almost took off with the thing. Well, it's fishing. Keep fishing. Really, I really enjoy watching Nate putting down riggers on because it's like uh, confidence porn almost. <laughs> it's just fast with those things, man. It yeah, takes man. takes me a bit of doing. You just, you just never know when, uh, when the bite's gonna end. You know what I mean? Right. So, so you gotta be brisk. Gotta gotta be ready to go. So what happens when it shuts off? You go looking for something else? Yeah, oh, we keep, we keep trolling the same yeah, place. Then we're, then we're on the move. On the move. He's got to keep an eye on them because they're, they're on a bite. Okay, Alex, you're on rock control. Gotcha. Don't threaten me with good time. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he won't be able to put another rod on before we get fish. Let's see. I've been able to, yeah. So what are you staggering him at? This one is at? That, one, that one's at uh, 45. And then the other one's at 35. So a little bit above, a little bit be yeah. below. Yeah, nice. And we're still marking right around 35 to 40. That's where. Yeah. And we go 2.8 right now. That's as far as fast as we're going. Oh, fish, oh, fish, 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 fish. <laughs> I still didn't get oh, it right. Good fish. Yep, just hold it nice and smooth. Good fish. All right, slow it down. Don't get too excited here. Yeah. Bring it in. One place. That's perfect. This pace right here? Yep, that's good. Okay. I also have bigger fish too. It's staying down. It's a decent fish, yes. Oh, yeah, he's fine. Oh, there's some aerobatics. Oh, he's going. He wants to run. On there, baby. Oh, it's a good fish. Bring him in. Bring him in. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the hook's out. Unbelievable, man. It's crazy. It's crazy how soft their mouths are right now. So you got to be very careful with that. Yep. Don't pull it too hard. All right. Let's take a look at that beauty. That's a yeah, nice fish. Yeah, she's a little bit bigger. Oh, fat fish. Look at her. Oh, she's going to be dinner tonight. And these are planters, guys, so they're designed to be caught and used as food. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's do it. Uh, it feels like a good fish. Good fish for sure. All right, a little bit of waiting and a little bit of doing. right off the hook so what i was telling you earlier about their soft mouths it's crazy how soft they are just come right off by no one's business straight spoon naked spoon as big nate says naked spoon right there baby with some center center down 40 feet and this is the result that's the result baby <laughs> Might be directional. That? Yeah. A lot, a lot of the times fish will be directional. They'll catch them one way, go back the other way, same exact line, not catch anything. Huh. Turn back around and then get hit again. That's true for the river, for sure. Yeah, Cause, it's just with the no, tides. No. But it's the same out here. More so with the salmon species than with uh, than with the trout. But you know, shoot, they're, they're gonna do what they want to do. 
eat I'll where they want to eat, when they want to eat, where they want to eat. You don't have a flasher. No. It's just straight up. Yep. It's just naked. Uh, have you tried flashers? You run, run yeah, flashers? you can't. You just can't run them fast enough. But, you know, you'll get so much drag, and they'll start doing weird stuff. Red hot, first thing, and now we're uh, yep. now we're chasing. Was it was it why you see me running those downriggers so fast? Because you just never know. They'll be on, and then just like that, for no reason at all, they'll just turn off. Yeah, you think you can do no wrong? Yeah. All of a sudden, now you wouldn't. Yeah, you know, you're back to grinding. 40 feet. Don't need to go far. Um, only reason why I'm not going a lot further right now is because we have all the all the chop on the water. Without the chop, you got to go back at least 100 feet. I got you. Okay. The chop kind of hides us. Yeah, exactly. Hides us in this in the ripples. Oh, here's a fish right here. Oh, yeah, he's there. 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 Got him. It's on. He's off. He's off. He's off. Ah. He's off. Almost immediately off. So there. Yeah. Three for six. Now you want me to keep pulling that? Yeah. Keep reeling? Okay. And I, another thing, I really don't think the color. The color is really mattering too much. The color of the spoon, right? At the, yeah. At, at the speeds that we're going, um, we're looking for a reaction bite. So, you know, I have, I have four different colors right now, and they, they're all getting bent. So, I don't, I don't think they can really see the color too much. How often is it like you get in a situation where the only one color is hidden? Is it both more when it's calm? When, when, it, when it's calmer out, um, for sure. You know, right now, uh, they feel pretty brave when uh, when they got the wind shot. And they'll, they'll just attack pretty much everything. I love fishing in the wind. How much wind is too much wind? About 10. 10? Yeah. Do you get off the you water can, at that point, can. or are you still looking? I mean, I'll, I'll tuck in somewhere and try to find something, but you know, if there's, if there's no fish in any other area, I mean, there's no point in being out. That's why, you know, at that point, I'll just, if I see it's going to be more, I'll just reschedule the trip. You can't control fish! The oh, there he fish. is! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's right. That's a really good bite, I'll tell you that. Come up and over the top, Alex, if you can. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow, aerobotic. Oh. He is really acrobatic. Yes. That nice That's a good looking fish. It's the best one yet. Woo. And he's off, see? They're all, as soon as they hit the net, they're gone. Woo, yeah, guys. This one is a really nice one. Look at this. Now, I just filled that water. It's super warm. It's really, really nice. What do we? 70. 70. 73. So it's been cooling down about a half degree or a degree a day. This fish should be right on the surface before you know it. And then what do you do when they're on the surface? Uh, what kind of a? That's it. We'll, we'll, run, we'll run the same setups. Um, I'll just uh, instead of using the downriggers, we'll uh, we'll just put uh, put like a half ounce or an ounce of bullet weight about three four feet above, and then just let it. Them, but then we'll let them out like 125 130 feet. And it'll dive what like 10 10 15 feet down? Yeah, maybe. I, I think you know between three and four miles an hour they probably won't go that far. But these fish will come 10, 10 15 feet to come hit it. All right, you guys were asking me. How the bait bowl looks like this is a big bait bowl right there about 40 feet you see that line right there that's what we're fishing right now see if we get bit big nate says we get bit, we're gonna uh, get bit. he says we get bit i'd say that's pretty that's pretty good pretty good bet i mean what he's doing is a belay it's like a choreographed dance right here man 
boom, 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 boom. One downrigger, two downrigger, three downrigger, four. Well, you just never know when that bite's gonna end on you. All right, you gotta get it. He knows what boat to track. Yeah, that's the Golden <laughs> Eagle. Oh, he's just got his talons out. Yep. He's, going he's down looking. Something. He's shopping. Oh no, that's a sea. Oh, here it is. Fish. Another fish. Whoa. Yeah. Oh yeah. We got bit. It's big Nate set. It's a smaller fish, but still. Come up to the top, he jump. Yep, he's on the top. He's not jumping yet. Definitely here. Oh no, it's not a smaller fish. It just didn't. Oh, he's in. Oh. It's the biggest fish of the day. Just oh out. my God. And yeah. That right there is the fastest limit of the season. Are we done? That is, that's five. That is the fastest limit of the season. No, we four. Are you sure we're five? I think, I think we're at five. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Wow. Hey, I like setting records. Okay. I don't mind setting records. That is one, two. Oh. <laughs> I just five fun. is on the deck, baby. Man, that's fast. <laughs> that's yeah, a baby. Fish right there. Oh yeah. They're very healthy in here in Biriessa. Oh my god, very healthy. Now we're gonna go optimizers for the king. We're limited out in like 28 seconds. We got we got some fishing to do. <laughs> Still, so we're gonna try for some kings. Yeah, this boat is fast. I don't know if you can feel it, but Well, so trout is done in like what 28 minutes, 26 minutes? I did, I did. Yeah, it was something like that. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> you know, I just caught my breath here. Uh, we're gonna do some kings. Nate's setting up. Uh, how deep are we gonna go for kings? We'll be anywhere from uh, from probably like 40 on down to about 80. Just depends on you know where where we start seeing them. Now, are you? Is the fish finder helping you with this, or you, this is just it will. Know. It okay, will. It will. But you know they're 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 up in there. They're eating the bait as well. Okay. But the kings they'll they'll hang out deeper, and then they'll come up to eat, and then they'll go right back down to the depths. And we're using the optimizer of old collars. And if you guys are near Napa, for Sweeney Sports, we're gonna have a full on uh, section of those for you. But uh, yeah, let's put them on. Is this you call watermelon? Nope. Um, you, you know what? I want that one though. You do? Yep. I'll what, take what that do you call one. This one. And then this is a uh, this is just a uh, a red and gold. Red and gold. But um, you get a lot of flash with it. Are you running straight coppers at all? Yeah, absolutely. Let's uh, let's swap let's swap that one. Ah, oh, shoot! I don't. Uh, I gotta put a watermelon out. Let's let's get rid of that one okay. and then um then if you open it up i'll i'll show you which one is that uh, yep is the one oh i see watermelon i got it i got it this is pretty watermelon yeah. is really pretty yeah there she is that's how she looks like okay now are kings uh are they sort of color sensitive or sometimes not it or can be but i mean once again you know when you when you're going three miles an hour or faster it's it's all a reaction bite that we're looking for okay. so i just i want something that either matches the bait fish if they're eating 
Or something that's just gonna give us a ton of flash down in the water. So first one out. Top of a dead fish. Oh yeah. Dead trout. How far how far down are we going on this one? This one I'm gonna put down to uh 70 feet. 70, okay. So that's the watermelon, guys. I thought watermelon is this. This is the rind. This is like the melon thing. No. Nope. But nope, that's the watermelon. Yep, that's a watermelon. Okay. How big do kings get around here? We've got them to uh, to 11 pounds. Wow. Well, they get they get big. Is there a healthy population over here? There is. They, uh, they, put, they put a lot of kings in this lake. Um, you know, what was weird is that we were, we were really smacking them. Um, Early on, right? Uh, yeah, April and May. Yeah. And then, like a light switch, this lake turned off for three months. You couldn't, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get a trout, I couldn't get a king, I couldn't get anything except for bass. So you're getting some, in some catfish. Bass and some catfish. Yeah. That's that. That was about the only thing on tap for a while. Now you have a catfish set up? I did. Well, no. I'll, if I, it's funny. I'll um, with catfish. Yeah, you know, I'll bring I'll bring some chicken liver or something out. You know, if I know someone wants to catch them, and they'll they'll fight them on these ultralights. Oh yeah. You know, getting you know 10, 15 pound catfish on these. Oh, and, that's got to be. Now, now you're now you're in for now you're in for a fight. So you're just bumping the bottom, you're drifting, or are you doing no, no, something I'll, else? I'll just I'll spot lock with the uh, with the trolling motor. Spot lock, yeah. Yeah, pulp and a cove and just spot lock. Now do you see him on the yeah, sonar? You'll see him. You'll see him. But you know, people people like to think that catfish are just bottom feeders, but the majority of the big catfish we catch are right in the middle of the bait ball with everything else, and they're just gorging down. So are you are you putting the liver on the bottom or are you suspending it? No, suspended. Ah, interesting. So that's a king mark right there. Yeah, that's the first king we've seen. Nate's gonna adjust to on, baby. 60 and come get it. See if we can get bit here, man. That'll be that'll be another epic. So he's behind the boat right now, right? Yep. He won't he'll come into our gear about now. Okay. When he'll start to see it. How big is that cone, do you know? So in this in this depth, you know, it's probably going out about 80, 90 feet. That so way? It, yeah. yeah. So it'll, it'll take, you know, till the, till the fish gets about three quarters of the way across the screen. So he's, he's right around the gear right now. He's a lonely one, huh? Lonely, lonely cowboy. He's lonely. He could be lonely in our bag if you want. <laughs> won't be lonely in there. No, there'll be a party in there. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna keep no, reeling. He's not there. It's not there. Oh. Got hit though. Yes, <laughs> oh, oh fish, right fish, 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 fish. Let's go. Got that one. Oh no. Uh, no ah, something's there. on. Something's on. Right, it's a smaller one. Smaller fish. Ah, uh, maybe it's oh, off. Oh no way. He's off. He's off. Oh no! Oh, boy. One, two. Now you're gonna, One, two, just like that. You typically turn around and do another pass, yeah, or are you kind of waiting to see? Will. Okay. Do you have anywhere um, where we can hang the trout? Oh, there he is right there! Oh, whoa! Whoa, talking, talking, all this talking. Oh! I he didn't know. stick either, did he? I don't know. No. No? Gosh, oh. dang it. As soon as you start doing something else. That's it, that's it, you're exactly right. And that's the same spot, by the way. Same spot. It might be those little kings, Alex. Uh, the big kings are not gonna do that. Big kings are gonna pound it. Little, king, little kings will just knock it off, too. Well, I was saying that um, if you have anywhere to hang your uh, guide uh, hook uh -huh. board, so we can do a fishing report and have the fish behind us, something like that, have a nice yeah. little background. Yeah, we'll figure that out. I, I'll post that today, because the video takes a little bit of producing, but I want to post something today, tag you and whatnot, but yeah. uh, it'll be easier just to talk in the camera and just get the report out. Yeah. Absolutely. But we got to show the fish. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Man, all this talking, Almost Come on, fish. fish. I think, you know, I, they're probably those smaller, those smaller eight to eight to 10, 11 inch kings. 
Let's knock that off. The big ones are going to stick. It was the same spot though. It was, like, same exact spot. I think they're sitting there. In the yeah, somewhere. sitting there. Probably, probably, probably the planters from this year. They'll, they'll tend to school. The bigger kings will just be solitary. I didn't even mark them there. No. I didn't see anything when I saw uh -uh. them. Yeah. So what do kings eat on? They're in Tredfin Chad too. But the, the kings, the thing with kings, they'll, uh, they'll eat their own, they'll eat kokanee, they'll eat baby bass, baby trout, anything they can get their mouth on. They're, they're the apex predator in this lake. They're in Tredfin Chad too. But the, the kings, Thing with kings, they'll uh, they'll eat their own. They'll eat kokanee. They'll eat baby bass, baby trout. Anything they can get their mouth on. They're they're the apex predator in this lake, which is probably part of the reason why we don't have uh, well we didn't have many kokanee this year either. With that low water, they got dumped in at the wrong time because uh, because they they weren't able to keep their cold water at the at the hatchery, so they got dumped in about the size of threadfin chad, two to four inches. I mean every every fish in this lake is going to eat those you know what i mean so that's what the kokanee got to go they got, yeah. they got i think they eat. got wiped out before they even had a chance to grow and kokanee are just weak i mean they're they're very weak fish a lot of the times when you when you catch kokanee they'll pop off when uh, when the water is about this temperature or warmer you can turn the boat right back around and go back and get them you know it's just they'll, they'll just be floating on the top they they can't they can't handle the stress Trout is pretty gentle fish as well. But, yeah, they are. But kokanee, I guess, is even more. Kokanee, so. kokanee is a whole different ball game. You know the survivor? Carp. <laughs> yeah, carp, catfish, sturgeon. Sturgeon, wow. Sturgeon can last half an hour out in the boat. Easy. Release them and go back down. Easy. The sun, the water, the hills. That's what it's all about. This is real life. People need to get out and fish more, man. Just get out in nature, period. It just centers you, man. It world, centers you. It's be a better place, man, I'm telling you. See, it's okay to be small. When you're small, all of a sudden your problems seem small. Yeah. All of a sudden you're feeling good about yourself. Right. Be small. This definitely right. helps with that. Feel small. Nothing wrong with that.